Yeah, good, my news. Yeah, everything's good. Everything's going good. So, what's the latest news so far? What have you been working on? What have you been practicing? So, the last little session that we had, mm -hmm. we are talking about using off angles and vertical high ground and things like that. Mm -hmm. So, in all the games that I've played, I've played about 30 to 40 games since we last spoke. Uh, I went from silver four to gold five. That's pretty impressive. So rank, yeah, straight rank, rank um, right away, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, every game, I just tried to make sure that I was proactively looking for it. If you know what I mean. Yeah. I was. I, I wasn't necessarily bothered about if it was good or not. More so, just doing it. Yeah. That's, you know? that's the right idea. Yeah. Um. But yeah, there's there's a couple of things I'm still not like sure about, I guess. Mm -hmm. But for the, for the most part, it's been well, it's been really good. I mean, my I can have a look, hang on, because I've pretty much only played Juno. Um, but my win percentage on Juno is seventy four percent now. Ooh, <laughs> well, <Which> is... <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> that that is, that is pretty impressive. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Okay. It, it was funny. It was funny as well because the very last game. I played to get gold was King's Row. Mm. <laughs> so the the code that I sent you was that game because it, it it's a good game because I think there's some stuff in there like that I can see that is not like good or bad. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, it's just funny that it's like the first session was King's Row and then it just ha I didn't get it ever apart from the last game, which I just thought was pretty <laughs> funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, how how the Kings o game went overall? Uh, well, we ended up winning the game, but like I I watched it back earlier, and it's like I I the stuff that I can see is like I can see what I'm trying to do. Like you can see what I'm trying to do, but he, some things just look really awkward. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to explain it. I think I think I think it's indecisiveness more than anything. I don't know you 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 see anyway. Mm. Okay, okay. Um, yeah. But are there any other difficulties you notice in general when you've been applying all that stuff? Yeah, using more verticality, making sure you're taking those uh, playing away from your core a little bit more. Yeah. yeah. Any any overall difficulties with the you notice? It, honestly, it's okay. The one the one hero I hate is Sombra. Yeah. Like. Well. A lot okay. of people do. Seems like, like yeah. <laughs> even the games I win with Sombra on the enemy team, I just hate. I just like some games you just get one shot by the Sombra, and I don't know what to do because I'm away. Obviously, like I'm trying to play away from my core, mm -hmm. but then you get hacked, you get virus, and then you get one tapped. It's really difficult. So I've just been trying to keep. If I'm playing away from my core, just keep cooldowns stuff mm -hmm. but, sure sure yeah. sure okay so um, playing against sombra is there's anything else like i say i it, it just when i watch it back because i've watched a few games back now like i can see what i'm trying to do <clears throat> and the idea is there it's just the execution of it just seems really mm -hmm. awkward mm -hmm. and i don't i don't know how else to explain it <laughs> it's just like I, I think it just feels really slow you know yeah, like, I see. There's a bit of hesitation. Yeah, what are you saying? Yeah, exactly. Sometimes uh, there's more indecisiveness, sort of, with your decisions. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. We can look at a few things which could help you, could help you to be more decisive. I guess. Yeah. So. Yeah. Let's. In, talk in about terms that. of mm -hmm. off angle, in terms of off angles, it's mm -hmm. like, like I say, I haven't, I haven't been really thinking. Oh, is is what I'm doing the correct play. It's more just getting used to doing it over and over and over again. Yeah. Yeah. That that is that is the right way, honestly, with all the concepts we're gonna go over because obviously the better off angles and maybe better yeah. verticality you can use, but the quality it will come later, basically. Yeah, you will notice okay, maybe this position you maybe on the king so you start using the for example, you notice that this high ground maybe 
as an example in a certain situation gives you more advantage versus this high ground over here and then you start playing here more but it just you can figure this out through repetition obviously i can also tell you the answer a lot of times well if you have any specific questions too but a lot of it is honestly just experimenting with all these concepts yeah seeing uh, how you apply this what works what kind of positions yeah, that, work yeah <laughs> that's what i've been doing like i'll go into a map and let's say i take a certain off angle and it, if, it, if it goes real well i can say okay i'll remember that but then if i take another off angle and it's terrible like okay, okay next time i'll try somewhere else you know yeah yeah, that makes total sense. Yeah, I think this is good. There are definitely a few things to pay attention to in terms of your decisiveness. Well, what comes to mind first? Well, it's about your team, first of all, making sure they are enabling your play more. There are a lot of factors you can look at. And also the second one probably can be looking at the enemy team, just seeing what could stop you from taking those angles. Yeah. Something like that. Uh, maybe it's also your ability usage, but we can take a look. Yeah, we can take a look and see how you apply stuff. And based on that, we can go over something else. What, what What's going to help you more? Yeah. Um, do you have any questions maybe before we start looking into this replay here? Uh, the first 10 seconds is awful. Don't watch it. Don't watch it. <laughs> you want to skip it right away? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. No, no, so, so the the idea was good. I the just didn't do the. I just didn't do the most basic thing that you should do. And I didn't realize where the tour was. Yeah. Well, you, you just, so... <laughs> just kind of died there. Well, yeah, it's a part of the reason. Yeah, as we mentioned, you want to um, keep an eye. It, keep an eye. On so, that. It was so frustrating because every game, I pressed the scoreboard after a couple of seconds to see who's on the enemy team mm -hmm. but i was i was so in my own head of like okay i need to get to this position i didn't do it so i didn't even know there was a torp well you actually if well yeah that didn't change the number if you just start in the fight you're only able to see uh, the entire scoreboard once you're 15 seconds in yeah yeah, yeah that's what i mean i, I normally mm -hmm. wait for a bit and then look at the scoreboard yeah yeah, yeah. okay so okay yeah. Mm -hmm. After this, it after this mm -hmm. it gets better. <laughs> yeah. This this is the part of the reason. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's keep watching. Yeah, let's keep watching any patterns you can notice there. Okay. But taking verticality, that's definitely you do it right away. Yeah. Even there, you can start doing that. That's fine. Now we start moving. Taking that position there, so slightly riskier. Yeah. So mm. I th I think the problem here was as soon as this happened. I needed just to go up to the high ground. Mm -hmm. But I wait for way too long, and then the tour comes. Mm. And then I think I might get out. Yeah, yeah you, still, you still played it relatively well. Well, you could be moving more towards the right. You were, I, I, yeah. I think you're correct, but you, you still played it relatively well. The tour was going on you, and then you use the the window to enable yourself. Okay, let's watch more. Okay, you help out your Doom Fist. It's nice. Okay. Now, honestly, really impressive. You played really well with verticality, at least, like how we talked about it. Yeah? Because before, you've been just playing with your core so much, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. This, this is really good. Okay. All right. Um, I actually do have a question. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I don't, not necessarily this game, I don't, I don't think, unless I see it later, but... It, between healing the team, Mm -hmm. and taking an off angle if if i'm in a position where i can't get a line of sight on my team but they need healing mm -hmm. is it just better just to go back or stay mm -hmm. i see okay I mean, obviously, well, it, obviously it depends on the situation but... yeah um yeah well yeah there's definitely <laughs> this, this one definitely depends on the situation but let's say if you already like say... mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Any any other additions or? No, I was gonna say. Let's just say, for example, you know, they have a dive, like they get dove on, for example. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I'm like up here, let's say. Mm -hmm, Obviously, mm -hmm. I I can't see my team. So what what's the best thing to do? Mm. I mean, Is here just... you sort. Well, again, it depends where they get in. 
dove exactly, but you can put it this way most of the time. I would say the most general rule is if you're contributing to the areas where most of your team can be active, you usually should be okay. And your priority is typically on applying pressure first because this game you can never outheal the damage. It's not like in the World of Warcraft, you can outheal the damage. Yeah. Here you cannot. So your priorities will be on the damage. If not, mm, yeah, if you realize. Okay, somebody from your team, they're getting critical, they actively are getting dove, and that is happening within the angle. Yeah, ideally, you should be taking an angle where most of your team is active. Like, for instance, you do it here. You see your Widowmaker is over there, your Doomfist is here, your Kira is here. You can see this entire area where your team is fighting, and, well, <laughs> what will happen most likely is, well, first, you're able to heal your team, but second is even more important is that you're able to apply pressure as well. And that's mostly about it. Let's say somebody's really far back there. Okay, they get engulfed by three people. You can help. You can put your priority on those guys over there because you need to fight where most of your team can do stuff, not where most of your team cannot do stuff. Let's put it this way. Yeah, so... yeah it's it's not normally a problem on push maps. Mm -hmm. It's more maps where everyone's in one area. Mm -hmm. I'm in an off angle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess, well, if you have any timestamps, I would be, it would be nice to go over, but so far, yeah, this is, this is kind of the answer. You want to look at yeah, the... Yeah, no, uh, no, it's fine, it's just, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's keep watching. Yeah, this, this verticality looks really well so far. Okay. Mm here potentially you can go up for Widowmaker's angle, but it's not too bad. Yeah, you guys need to capture the point as well, so that makes sense. You can play around this a little bit more. Right. Now we're going forward. Okay. You can angle there. That's okay. You dodge the rock to move back. Is it, is it correct to go back here? I was I was wondering about this. I didn't know whether I should just stay where I was. Because, mm -hmm. yeah, the rock comes, but there's no pressure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Let's. I, I think it's going to be something we're going to talk about anyway, eventually. Let's uh, put yeah. it this way, because... I think the first fight, this idea could also help you out quite a lot. I usually like to use the idea of kill boxes or kill zones. You can call it whatever you like. What kill zone is about or kill box is about is the area where most of your team is doing stuff and you want to have an angle within that kill zone. So for example, here, if I see you applying pressure from the right side there, okay. And you look at where most of your team is positioned currently. You see this? Yep. You have the soldier over here, Kiri over there, Widowmaker is over here. You kind of flank a little bit towards the right, which is, which is okay. You can abuse the mobility. I think those guys are not as active. You're helping out your Doomfist for a little bit, but most of your attention should be towards the area eventually where all these guys can fight. So it's kind of those sidelines here. So I don't think it's bad. Uh, to exactly give up the location yet exactly well you can maybe prolong the time you stay here but it's okay as long as you realize okay like most most of my time i'm contributing to the areas where most of my team is active that becomes also your play is going to be much safer too you're not just going to die randomly as well you see at the first fight what happened is if you pay attention to this idea a little bit more let's say i'm rotating soon okay well obviously the part where you also look at it the enemy team what they have it helps too but now when you start pushing you see you entering the enemy area and you guys kind of don't have exactly two established kills on yet well you guys are moving up but you want to be careful if there's no exact kill zone yet. Uh, what you want to pay attention to, I think the biggest thing is you need to keep an eye on your tank a little bit more. Whenever you see the kill zone is established, like for example, I well, I have this with over here. Well, Soldier, they have sidelines to here. Well, Kiriko as well. They, you usually like them to be... Uh, taking shorter range angle uh this widow can see stuff there but your tank is not engaging yet so if your tank is not engaging they're not doing pressure then you typically want to wait slightly more you want to let your tank to do something first in the kill zone you can put it this way <laughs> and yeah. then and then you start pushing up or yeah you can start taking an angle and you would most likely not die from the torp too because the 
attention of the torp is not going to be on you anymore it's going to be on the tank but w you want to pay attention to when they are active and you see why it's like you're actually able to survive there to this angle on the right is a lot of attention goes towards the doomfist your doomfist has actually been engaging and uh, yeah, yeah that that's why it works most of the time if your doomfist is out you gotta be careful but the tanks mainly designed to just absorb pressure and yeah, make sure you able to play around that so yeah i'm gonna write it down as well uh kill box okay that is something you want to keep an eye on and specifically uh, uh time pressure with tank or you can also time your rotations if you like okay so for example there your tank is dead well it doesn't mean you cannot be active still yeah just watch if you're active within the kill zone you can maybe uh, get eventually to up on this ledge well your rotation will have to be different though yeah you probably start here and then you go there but yeah it's if you're already over there oh, then I really... yeah there's there's a lava too okay <laughs> sorry sorry i mean this this one is actually okay so see you I... yeah mm -hmm. go on i i agreed for the kill on the tour but but realize after I killed him that I'm in his pit. <laughs> it's okay. Well, it, <laughs> you, you know, though, even though you die here, it's actually a good kill because the guys got good spawn here. You guys spawn quicker compared to the enemy team. Their spawn is really far. So if you trade one on one there, it's better. It's. I just saw, I saw him on one HP go around the corner and I just couldn't let him live. But that killed me. <laughs> In this case, it's okay. Like, <laughs> if you greet it, if you read it close to any sp enemy spawn, then it's not worth it. But in this case, it's it's fine. Okay. Mm. Okay, this... Yep. Mm -hmm. th this ult... So, Sigma ults. I, I use this ult mm -hmm. to try and get the damage boost so that we can kill the Sigma. Mm -hmm. Because he's on, what, half, I think? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he is less and than half HP now. Mm -hmm can't remember if it gets a kill, but is is that correct? Is it correct to use the ult here in response to for, use for, it? For, is, is it correct to use the ult for a damage boost if it guarantees a kill? Yeah, I, I think it's if, fine. If it's yeah. risky, if it, yeah. Because it's mean, a bit risky, but it's like... Yeah, yeah, mostly, mostly but... your idea is always... To me, if you can... Increase the pressure of your team, it's always viable. If you see, okay, there's really high chance I'm getting killed on somebody. If it's worth it as well, watch it. Yeah, because because now I think it's it's alright because they got what? Uh, swim members alive with the Sigma Well, it's four, and they using the ultimate. You guys are five, but you not using any other ultimate. So, well, actually, let me see. Yeah, you guys are five, and you're not using any other ultimate. So, it's alright. You're just making sure you... Even out the chances to win here because they tell you with their ultimate with their sigma's ultimate they tell you okay we start pushing yeah and uh, usually <laughs> i say that ultimate a lot of times if somebody uses this it typically leads to you or well if the enemy is using it then it typically leads to you using resources uh, in to, to use the resources and uh, what it will end up with is that Somebody might die from your team. Yeah, let's put it this way. So I usually say one ultimate equals one kill a lot of times. To simplify, whenever you play, it's uh, easier this way. Yeah, I, I didn't know if it was just a waste because it's just one Sigma versus like four. That was that, all. That's not a bad. That, that is okay. That is okay here. I would rather you be more proactive and don't don't wait too much. It's like good reason, good enough reason to me. Of course I can polish that, but I wouldn't pay attention to it like that much now. I would pay attention to some other stuff. Yeah, let's keep watching. You guys snowballing really. So this is the no we there's no big challenge to yeah it seems. Well you guys probably gonna get stopped somewhere. Yeah, like maybe on a surf point. Uh yeah, I think I think defense is a lot longer than attack. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's I think, I think we I think I think my biggest struggle is defense a lot of the time on push maps. Mm-hmm. Oh, I do Okay, just... okay, okay. Yeah, so you guys comfortably push this, really. You should, shouldn't have the problem with even this fight there. Okay. Right, just some more shots there. You can also try to take this high ground over there, potentially. Uh, hard to reach there, you just gotta stand on the point, double jump, and then you can glide, if you like. 
and this is gonna be pretty decent angle for you to play at too, so you're not too behind, uh, away from your core, I guess. Mm. Okay. Okay, one of the potential things um, to talk about as well is how you use cover. Like, I know it is, yeah, it also needs some work, but yeah, let's keep watching. I'm gonna, gonna explain a few, th few things later. Mm hmm okay. I still live so By the way, see, you exist on this angle, you basically do the same towards this area. You still contribute to yeah. the kill zone, but you more safe Just... as well. Mm -hmm. so same, same pressure but less risk. Is that yeah, 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 definitely. Well, it seems like <laughs> for now. Well, let's put it this way: you, you definitely, because you have this angle, you might get pressured. Like the enemy will would like to push you, but it, but it's just so much more comfortable for you. You're not playing with the with the core exactly. Yeah, you're playing away from them, and this this See, makes I, it work. Mm -hmm. When I'm playing, when I'm actually in the round. I play the round out, and then he's like, after I after something happens, I'm like, oh, I should have done this, or I should have done this. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I, I see it after the round, after something's happened. I'm like, oh, I should have gone up top. But yeah, yeah. So, and what is the question? It's just it's just understanding it while like in the moment, you know. It's like it's like mm -hmm. I can see it in hindsight. Yep. It's just when you when I'm playing, it's just that decision of. Okay, I should do this because of this. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's not really a question. Just yeah, more. yeah, yeah, no, no, that, that makes <laughs> yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Well, that that is why that is why you're there to just constantly apply the concepts, make sure you, uh, if you notice some patterns. Yeah, let's say you've been applying verticality, but then you notice, hmm, I could still do that more. Yeah, uh, what is the things we could have done at a certain point? Point. Well, try to get more verticality with the jump of the payload. You can transition this towards the other maps too like dorado or maybe gibraltar yeah or maybe like any any other any this general stuff can always apply later more mm. but yeah so far the first second point well i think it was pretty decent you guys snowball quite well yeah let's see the defense a little bit more and I, I still really uh yeah probably we're gonna pay attention to the idea of the kill zone a little bit more here too okay See how aggressive is towards that area. Let, let me ask you the question. What, what's your thoughts? Should you be uh, actively using investing resources towards this area now? What's your thoughts? No, because there's no follow up. There's no follow up, right? Do you see where your kills on this now? Where is that? Yeah. Uh, it well, it would be in the doorway, archway mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, may, maybe slightly mm -hmm. towards their side, mm -hmm. depending on angles and whatnot. But yeah, the the doorway mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. exactly exactly so a lot of times you not necessarily need to be active as a lot of things with your mobilities uh with your abilities i would put it this way because you have this proactive positions like you use in verticality quite well what it does is it creates this passive volume for you and because this happens the enemy will try to push you they will try to do something towards you like it happened when you was attacking remember you was attacking well maybe using this high gun here or even this there there was a good example sigma used the rock if sigma used the rock on you and you dodged it then you don't just can live more and it's the same thing over here what you want is <laughs> you want to make sure enemy makes a commitment towards the kill zone and if the commitment made towards you especially then it's understandable why you use abilities so see here i don't want to invest even my right click yet or like my ring yet like do something aggressive there i, I want kind of bait these guys to push me into the kill zone yeah so you would probably i think it's fine if you maybe play over here but you'd not fully commit but uh with you know where you so, need... yeah say mm -hmm. save abilities yeah, 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 you would save the abilities a little yeah. bit more, and then if they dive you, like in here, or maybe this corner, that would benefit your team much more, because there's so much more follow-up they can do. This is also mm, not too bad, I, w I would say, but just watch watch the kills on more, so you can force out even more the enemy resources, basically. Yeah, like now you... Yeah, this is just a bit... I was just a bit awkward. Yeah. 
Oh, this is just gonna move to some sort of cover there. Well, your angles. Hey. Potentially, I, I, I'd like you to use this, this one in the back is just what angle you're gonna move towards from here. You see this? Where should you be you're now? The, you're the high ground? Yeah, not a high ground, right? And yeah. into cover? Yeah, if yeah. I need. Yeah, instantly. Yeah, so this, this is how you move. You move on with vertical angles. Just make sure you don't give it up instantly. You don't have to. You might lose some advantage here in the choke, but it does mean that you lost the fight over here when the enemy is gonna push you more further. You can always separate any maps and yeah, any any time you can separate the locations of where you're taking the fight on three, three fights actually. <laughs> so here you usually take the fight on the choke first, and then the second fight happens kinda of around the statue, and the third one happens over here. And so if you lost the first fight, then it doesn't mean you lose the second or the third one. So move move accordingly. Go from angle to an angle still. <clears throat> right. I'm trying to enable the Doom Fist. Yeah, this, I don't know what I was doing here. I don't, I don't know what I was. That's okay, that, that's okay to help out your Doom Fist, so to speak. What we mentioned is, yeah, you're waiting for... Um, your tank's pressure. Do you wanna if enemy if enemy makes a commitment, especially towards him, then you answer with your resources, with your abilities, but um you just gotta move in a smarter way. You gotta probably go maybe somewhere over there or you maybe end up uh, near this hotel. Yeah. I think if if I could, <laughs> if I could watch it back for a second. I, th I think I just tunnel so hard <laughs> on healing the or trying to heal <laughs> the doofus, I just don't even know where I am. I see, I see, I, think, I see, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sh like, because my movement's like, I don't even move, I just literally just go in a straight yeah, line. Yeah, you just go in a straight line there. This, this is what I notice, uh, and it shows sometimes when you see a lot of pressure, you know what you do? A lot of times you start moving uh, to, to backwards, basically, um, or to forward sometimes. This is what I describe it. It basically linear movement. You want to make sure your movement is less linear. One of the things you can do, so... To the point, yeah, yeah, let's set it. Uh, not only the kill zone is useful, but when you're actually moving in the kill zone, or maybe the enemy is pushing you, what I want you to do is instead of th thinking, how do you move towards the target to heal it or shoot it, I want you to think about how do you move from one corner to another. So, see here, if I'm taking space on this map, if I'm your team saying, Okay, guys, we about to have our kills on over there. Well, you actually kind of established well, your kills on sort of here. Okay, your idea is to not move in the kill zone, but move closer to the kill zone, be contributing to the kill zone while pushing from corner to corner, moving from one corner to another. So if I'm here, corner one, I want to move from corner two first, and then from corner two, I might go to corner three. But you kind of, from corner one, you just go out in the open. Basically, so ideally, yeah, if you can heal the doom first, sure, yeah, you, well, you can try, but then you gotta choose the corner, the right corner, and yeah, yeah you probably would be fine with moving towards the corner too. Maybe you pursue the hotel even. It's not too vertical there, but anyway, it, it's still better. You're using the corners, and from here, might be able to help them out. You might also be able to shoot the guys there too. That's how I would think about it. So your movement becomes less linear. And see, whenever the enemies will apply pressure towards you, you're not just gonna move somewhere in the open or like backwards here. You'll be thinking, okay, what cover I'm using? Yeah, even there, you can use this as a piece of cover if you like. Oh, it's, yeah. It might just prolong your life slightly and maybe one of your team is to heal you up and maybe Kiriko uses Suzu on you stuff like that really yeah I mean what watching it watching this back it's like mm -hmm. I just I don't I don't use cover yep. very much like mm -hmm. even in high ground I was like away from the corner yep. Yeah, yeah. That's why I'm 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 thinking this is gonna be a good habit for you to implement as well yeah. additionally. So see if I'm there again, uh a lot of times well you, you remember you're giving up space from here to there, but it will be different. So you give up space but it's smarter, well maybe go to this corner, maybe go it doesn't matter what corner, honestly. Ideally, mm -hmm. yes it's verticality, but just just using this as a good habit, yeah, if you're able to implement it really well, it's I think I think I'm so just like worried about LOS that I just out in the open like here it's like 
Well, not necessarily here, but you know. Yeah. Why? Yeah, yeah, this is this is better because using this right side. Yeah. Not <laughs> this guy. You can actually shoot the widow if she uh, shot her charge, uh, full charge shot. You can shoot her up for a short period of time. It's fine. You're not gonna end up dying too. Yeah, widow kills the enemy widow. That's fine vertical angle to use. Yeah. You did your best helping out the widow. Probably using the ring could also help if you notice. There's too much of a commitment. You kind of want to think, okay, enemy makes a commitment. Where where this happens, you send your abilities, and it might be the ring, it might be the your right click. Yeah, we can talk more specifically about it, but now it's just more general concepts, ideas. Yeah, that's what I want you to do. Like, just notice if the enemy start making a uh, big commitment towards the kill zone, like any of the members, maybe it's you and such. You start using your cooldowns a little bit more. You can also watch the enemies using their abilities too. If you see them committing maybe it's their mobility or they using defensive it, it it means that you can start doing something with your yeah with your cooldowns see there okay oh, let, let's switch our movement too this was just a panic i don't uh, even know what this yeah was. trying to survive there yeah i mean it's i don't even know yeah <laughs> I was gonna say, I don't even know if this saves me, because I, I swear the ult's like 100 here or something. Yeah, it can save you, it's just you... Um, you you also, the part of the reason you need to move from uh, cover to cover, cover half yard, you see, kind of uh, stuck in the open a little bit too much. Instead, it would be lit, instead of lean towards the left, and then it will be safer. You kind of wander in the open, and you go backwards. Backwards is never safe to you. This is what a lot of... Uh, people, it's common error actually. If you fix this, you're going backwards when you know there's danger, it's gonna help out a lot. Move to cover first. Well, the winds might still kill you, but at least you prolong your life longer. And maybe, maybe you also save your own life because uh, you take HP back, it's on the left side, or maybe you also using your ultimate, stuff like that. I would do that for sure. Let's keep watching. Well, he's in the ring, yeah, just. I gotta get to here, okay. Only Doomf is dead, so gotta give up space, okay. Do you have any questions so far, maybe? Anything what, we, what I mentioned so far, yeah. Um, just think for a sec. I just, I mean, I don't know if you agree, but mm -hmm. it's like, I just feel like I'm using my abilities when. There's no pressure. And yeah. And when there is pressure, I'm not using my abilities. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's it's the part of the reason. Uh, but y you know, the biggest, it's one of the things as well. We can, you definitely pay attention to when you will be also going over the skill zone concept too. So yeah, it's gonna be easier if you know the pressure happens in the kill zone. Then you start using the abilities. I don't want to go too much in depth. Like it doesn't matter to me. Like with the micros yet, yeah, you yeah. can look at those later. <laughs> they obviously those are available too. But I want you to make sure, yeah, you actually contribute into the kill zone consistently, and then you start doing stuff uh, when the pressure, the commitment happens. It's either on you or your team. I want to watch it. Yeah, you know, commitment. I'm gonna write it down. Uh, enemy makes a commitment. Uh, you can be active. Yeah, can be active after. But what commitment is? Commitment. It's them walking into the space. Okay, so it's uh, walking in the space. It's them using abilities, using cooldowns. I'd say that's it. That's enough. Honestly, you need to look into that a little bit more. Just make sure that that, that happens towards your kill zone. You know what we could try to do? Have time and we already went over three ideas related to the kill zone. So first, yeah, make sure the enemy makes a commitment. Second, you want to keep an eye on your tank more. So they start to absorb impression. Third one was you need to move from cover to cover, corner to corner. Okay, mm, what we can do is to actually try to do a game and maybe apply some of this. Do you want to do it? Yeah. yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, we can try. Yeah, let's do that. Um, what ID you want to pay attention to more when playing the game? Um, I think I think it's between cover or kill zone. Yep. I think to be to be honest, I think cover is more beneficial for me at the minute no, because I just <laughs> I just watching that back. It's just like I'm just sort of all over the place. <laughs> so open, <literally. yeah. laughs> right. Uh, hang on, let me. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's just make sure you're in the habit of moving from corner to corner and 
I'm gonna also maybe add some other yeah, commentary, but yeah. Let's try to implement it. And that's how you're gonna implement it as well. Just make sure one step at a time you play, apply this and that, and it's gonna be it's gonna be good. Okay. So contribute into the kill zone, sure. Mm -mm -mm. Some people they also well some coaches they call this uh this thing like a line if enemy crosses the line then it's good but i like the kill zone more because it gives you more specific understanding of of where your team can get kills exactly and where you see them actually shooting stuff it, it requires you well first of all you need to watch your team but for now for now let's do let's do corners well this one this one might be good to circle out well, yeah yeah there, there's there's a lot of open space to work with let's watch you yeah yeah um, I really like how use verticality though. Really good progress. I was not honestly, yeah, I was not I... expecting so much progress in it. <laughs> it's really, no, it's I mean really I, <laughs> I like I said, I was at the very sort of end of Silver Four when we had our last thing. Yeah. Um, and the first game I was like, okay, we, okay, I'm gonna use high ground, and I think I lost like three games or four games. Yeah, in a row. it's usual. It's usual. And yeah. I was just, I, I just couldn't get it. You know, like everywhere I tried, I just got like. The enemy team just jumped on me, and then all of a sudden it was just like, "Okay, just slow it down. Don't yeah. worry about it. <laughs> just take any angle or any uh... yeah, any high gun angle." Yeah. Yeah, I get it. Nice. Okay. Yeah, let's make sure you do this uh, thing from cover to cover. Okay, you have decent cover here. Mm hmm. An eye on the pressure you can also put up on the enemy team before the fight. Your team don't need as much healing. Mm-hmm. That's all right. That's okay. We can wait a longer. Um. Mm-hmm, okay. If your team is fine, just shoot the enemy more. Yeah. Just watch, watch your team. If they're critical, then you start shooting them more. If they're not, more pressure towards the... Yeah, your team. I mean, the enemy. Nice. I'm getting kills there. Good angle there, too. Why not? You can use the opposite high gun later, if you like, as well. I mean, there. Mm. Ah, it's good. Yeah, it's good high ground. <clears throat> this an angle here. Can use the stairs angle later if you like. Just it, it can also be used as a corner too. Just use this horizontal structures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see the stairs? Yeah. Use it as your corner. All right. Some room. Need, yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice and good. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Nice, good shooting. Okay, you can you can set up for the next one again. Don't don't st don't be stuck on a point. That's fine. You don't need to. Be, uh, most of the time, you need to put more pressure towards the enemy before the fight starts and set up. Actually, right. That's all good. You can support those guys more. Ah, uh, that was a waste. Mm, not too much, but yeah. Oh. I'll help your Reaper, so it's ended up in some kills. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah I do that a lot. I just panic use it. 
Uh, that's okay. Well, a lot of times it happens because you maybe you're not tracking certain information. We can uh, work on that later too. It's the, the awareness. Yeah, there's 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 this the thing you talked about. <laughs> exactly. Sometimes it happens. Like oh, where you have to know. Bad. Okay. <laughs> Fucking hate Sombra. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, make sure you take any more space. If you control that high ground, they see that ledge, yeah, that that one is really good for you. <clears throat> you can fly over there. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure you stay there though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. And then you can move towards the right side, basically. And oh, and the Zen is solo. Nice. Good, 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 good. Mm-hmm. That's all right. I didn't know where to go back soon. I didn't know where to move or not. That's okay. Yeah, I think... You, you, you overall, it was it was it was decent. It was the small things here and there, like not dying. You could avoid that, but it's it's alright. Okay. Huh. All right. Okay. Don't know what that was. One for one. You guys can still push. Yeah, ultimate is not bad to initiate with a lot. So you just watch your watch your team if they have been active or not. And then you can start doing stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's good, that's good. Oh, I should have waited. Oh that's 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 okay, honestly. That was that was decent ultimate. Mm-hmm. Oh, somebody left. Well, it's all right. They might yeah, come back. Okay. Oh, anyway. Okay. Yeah, you can reset there. <laughs> There's not much you can do. That was right. that was very awkward. I if I get split. By a DPS player, I just don't, I don't know what to do either. Because the soldier's just looking at me. Yeah, well, you can, if he's alone, you can also try to duel, duel them if they're low on resources. Like maybe they use their healing station, for example. And then, why not? I mean, actually, can win. Like, you can, yeah. The guy, the guy joined the game too. So. Oh, you just gotta kill that mate there, right? Nice. Good job. Good usage of cover. Here. Yeah, cover. Mm hmm. Nice. Dude. 
Oh, I don't know, dude. That's alright, you guys pushed it pretty far, to be honest. Uh, this third point might be a little bit more tough, but that's that's okay. <clears throat> Usually if you have difficulties baking through overall here, controlling high ground is the key. The stop rate, <clears throat> where you saw the enemy soldier, it's uh, always good. You can just move further further up there and you will he have... Just had... mm -hmm. He just had a bit of free rain up there, really. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There wasn't really pressure for him. Yeah, yeah, you can put pressure on their DPS and also put put up your own pressure from those high grounds. Always, always good. It's fine. Okay. Let's see defense. Well, I might expect them to go some long range DPS. So here, how you go from cover to cover? Still, I think you've been using cover pretty pretty decent. Just keep keep this up. I'm trying. It's so. It's so weird. I'm trying to. <laughs> I'm trying to do it, but it's so different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I get it. It's just your working memory is quite busy with this, like new stuff, and then also you might end up not doing the best with other things. Maybe your abilities, or yeah, it's okay, honestly. Once. Is, okay. Yeah. I was gonna say, is this a? Is this good? Because <laughs> I feel like if I just play it. No, I would I try it. Getting, yeah, I would try this. Bit. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Like you just gotta. From here, you gotta most of the time be creative. Well, you, oh, you, know, you, you, you have capability to fly away from here. Just be careful with challenging the snipers. That's it. If they have one, this high ground is decent. You have the sidelines, the stairs too. Okay, somewhere. Oh, that's, me. that's okay. Nah, this is the part of you playing over there too, and just scouting who goes up the stairs sometimes. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's usually some sort of flanker, they sneak it up on you <clears throat> and push you out, so yeah. I don't know what it is about Sombra, I just can't... I just panic. Mm-hmm. That's nice. Yeah, she was right behind you on that on that angle there. Just expect them to be flanking you. And they gonna go behind and flank you. You know the Bastion is in the main, the Sombra is gonna flank, that's it. Yeah, now they're in the main actually. Nice. Use the pillar. Try, try to find a corner where you can deal with Sombra more comfortably. So you kind of want to expect them to be behind you. That's it. Like if they're in a the game, assume they're behind you. Probably and they will try to come behind you. So it will change your position, initial position. I suggest try to find the verticality still, too. So okay, Sombra is dead now. So you're good. Nobody's gonna flank. <laughs> Dumper will come back in 10 seconds, be ready. <laughs> and this guy dies, okay. Gotta reset, you can well you can try to be sneaky, but I don't I'm not sure. Oh no. You, you, <laughs> yeah, it might be tough there. Yeah. The sombra will also punish you there. <gasps> it's okay, use verticality, you have this high ground, uh, the left ledge. 
Expect the flanker, expect the Sombra to be uh, on you there. Just need to shoot to shoot her. Be ready. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna survive, yeah. Just play to live. Nice, good. You you was prepared. <laughs> That's good. See, this is what happens when I lose. I just feel like I'm useless yeah. in the game when I lose. Yeah, yeah. Well, you, you got you got snowball, and yeah, the, those games, honestly, uh, silver, gold, those quite quite snowball. Yeah, to be honest, to stop the snowball, a lot of times it's about how you use your ultimate. Also, you get in picks, this sort of stuff. Yeah, definitely. It seems like with the sombra, yeah. Well, I could describe. There's there's the problem, but generally speaking, it's not the problem with the sombra. To me, it's more your awareness you want to just constantly ask where the somber is and position accordingly if you like to practice this idea of corners yeah if you know where you you expect her to be in a certain places like behind you then you can position more proactively so you not gonna get hacked easily or you at least well if she's hacking you then you know how you're gonna use cover as well so you're not panicking you know you have this sort of backup plan okay if she's going on you but now it feels like you know you're surprised you're like when are you getting hacked you're surprised that this happened a lot of times and then you yeah. move away yeah, yeah, yeah so that's that's about it that, that is well awareness that is something we can talk about later too but for now we just start with if you need this yeah the biggest thing to keep an eye on is definitely just asking yourself where the sweat is uh you also not pressing tab that much uh, to track the enemy composition what they have so that might also be big help you press the tab before the actual fight before every fight you check and just like hmm this rat is still in the game the somber is still in the game where do i expect her okay i expect her to be behind me here and there okay how do i position yeah what's my backup plan this stuff mm. but yeah it's it's all right you will you'll get better at it eventually the game sense yeah there, there are a lot of topics to talk about there but yeah uh cover cover went relatively well that's what matters to me honestly it's just you panic yeah that's what cover. i yeah. I was trying to focus more on cover than anything else. Yeah. It's hard because I haven't actually played that map yet, whilst yeah. also getting off angles as well. Yeah, yeah. So I'm trying to do both at the same time. <laughs> it's a bit... Yeah, that's definitely not really the easiest task, right? I've, uh, I'm sure I haven't played that map yet. Yeah, you, 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 you're good. Yeah, the, the, the cover, and this is the point. Yeah, you're trying to apply stuff. Um, at the start, it also might feel like well, you lose a little bit more because. Your working memory is really busy with processing all that stuff, but it's fine, honestly. It's gonna take some time, but then after, like we mentioned with the high ground, for example, when you've been applying the sweet games, and then after that it felt better. Yeah, that's gonna be a, a relatively similar when you're gonna apply corners or like timing your pressure with your team more. Yeah, specifically your tank more. Nice. Okay. Yeah, it was the, these games here. <laughs> Mm -hmm. like, I just I just lost like three games in a row. Mm, 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 mm. They were just really like. Mm, mm, mm. I'm uh, that's trying okay. to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I've tried cover. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, uh, that's that's understandable. Yeah, we. Uh, well, I think we can summarize at this point. We can just see. Okay, what do we got for today so far? And then, yeah, we can. Mm. Yeah, we can discuss what we can. But no, I'm looks like I'm, mm -hmm. I'm happy because I went from silver four to gold five in like two days. Yeah, that's so really like, impressive. Yeah, it's just like putting the games in and just making sure because I, what I don't want to do is loan to a game and just mindlessly play. Yeah, there's no point. Yeah, so it's like I don't I don't care if I win or lose. It's just like I I just want to make sure that I'm taking high ground, taking verticality, cover. Yeah, this stuff. Yeah, and we'll translate to more wins in the future too. If you're able to mm. implement the concepts, it it's inevitable. Oh no, I've noticed. It. Too. <laughs> yeah, no, I, like I say, I just the the recent games I played, like yesterday or whatever, and it was like I just naturally got the off angles and stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's it how worked, it should be. Just, yeah, yeah, it's just pl playing the maps over and over and over again to realize cover, like you say. Nice, nice. Yeah, cover, cover, yeah. Yeah, cover is more important, I think, to pay attention to now. 
Yeah, so our notes. Yeah, what we got out of the, out of today so far. Yeah, for one, it's cover definitely. Yeah, moving from corner to corner. That's a big one. What else? What else you also learned from today? Um, killbox. Killbox. Okay. W what that uh, is about. Mm -hmm. So depending on where my tank is, or no, sorry, depending on where my team is mm -hmm. and the enemy team, mm -hmm. the space that they're going to fight. To you, like to use, to use things more proactively in that kill box, and not be mm -hmm. too aggressive or too passive to get less value. I guess if that's mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what you want to call it. I don't know how to summarize, mm -hmm. summarize it. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. like that, like that replay, I was too aggressive, used my ability, and it didn't really do anything. Mm -hmm. I damaged three people, but it didn't do anything because no one on my team was there to do anything about it. Yeah, I think this this is going to be good. Yeah, if you're able to apply this on a consistent basis, uh, we're going to be watching the commitment, yeah? It's going to be, first, about the enemies walking into your space, making sure you pay attention to that, them using cooldowns as well. Maybe they do a lot of burst damage too. Sometimes it happens. You need to do something active with your abilities. What I'm going to put in the notes as well is uh, just, yeah, let's do this one ability. Try to use your ring on you, your team, a little bit more when you notice that this active pressure actually happens. Um, you want to, well, I think you're pretty comfortable using it on yourself. Uh, put more attention towards anybody who is more stationary as well. I'm going to put it on notes too. Just making sure you see maybe, okay, you got something like Carissa or you got something like Reinhardt. If they're under big pressure, yeah, what I see is the enemy makes a commitment. Yeah, they use cooldowns. They maybe start throwing stuff. Then you use your ring to help out those guys. So they rotate. Maybe they go aggressive or they go out. It doesn't matter, but you're just at least there to like speed boost them. To just yeah, you know, I think negate the I think I wait too long on it. Mm -hmm. That's why Killzone is going to be useful. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. what I noticed in King's Row, I think it was last point or whatever, was I think someone got really low, like <laughs> critical, and then I used it. Mm -hmm. Rather, mm -hmm. rather than using it early so they don't get to that point. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that yeah. Yeah, that's why I would say for now, let's not wait exactly when uh, your teammates are like too critical. You d definitely HP is a big factor too, but usually, well, maybe they start dropping, like maybe half HP, maybe they lost their armor, for example. Yeah, most of the, well, not most, but like one third of the HP, for example. You see the enemy team's committing, you can already do something with the ring. Uh, put more attention towards stationary targets more. Whoever is last mobility, yeah, or your Ryan, maybe your Rissa. And stuff like that, it just, again, enables your team to uh, rotate, to move from cover to cover. You're using your rink on yourself pretty good, just, yeah, also keeping an eye on your team. But we're going to talk more about that later, too. Yeah, this is going to be definitely the part um, about the awareness. So it's just, yeah, let's maybe, I'm going to write it down as well. So it's ability yeah, like, usage. Mm -hmm. My biggest takeaway from just, like, this hour was, <laughs> like, cover. Yeah, yeah. Cover. Co co cover is the biggest one for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and going, going, moving from angle to angle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is gonna be good. Yeah, if you start applying cover first, um, yeah. and then you can move to well, applying more decent the kills on. I, I would say synchronize your pressure with tank too. Just notice that tank they they would like to initiate the pressure first. Um, so let the tank to be active in the kill zone. And then you can be active after. That's also a big thing. If you're ever not confident, should you rotate? Should you do something? Watch your tank because they are there to absorb initial pressure. They are there to just help you out to make sure not a lot of initial tension goes towards you. That's that's how I would put it. Okay. Okay. Do you have any questions for today? Yeah. Any final questions? I don't think so. Okay. Okay, good. 